Well hello everybody and welcome to another Doctor Who video on the Hoz Productions. In today's video we're going to be doing something very exciting and special indeed as I'm going to be unboxing the Big Chief Studios one sixth scale collector figure of the 13th Doctor as portrayed by Jodie Whittaker, signature edition release, limited edition to 500 units. Finally we have this figure for the shelf, finally, after so many years of waiting. For context, I originally ordered this figure in the first year of university, way back, I do believe, in 2019. It is now 2021. A lot of things have happened since then, and quite frankly, I wondered if this figure would ever actually turn up. But not only do we have the 13th Doctor to our collections, we also have a classic series Doctor as well. We have the third Doctor, as portrayed by John Pertwee, a figure that I'm very excited to unbox. However, we're not going to be taking a look at him just yet, as this video is going to be focused around the wonderful 13th Doctor herself. Now this is a figure which uh, had a little bit of a bumpy ride, I think has been delayed quite a lot. We have two heads with this figure as well, um, two different sculpts, ever so slightly different, smiling and neutral, lots of accessories and of course a wonderfully tailored costume, so I'm very excited to get this figure open. After so many years of waiting for it, it is very surreal to actually finally have this figure. But hey, it's in the lovely Big Chief shipment crate. Of course, we have the Big Chief logo there at the very front. A number of details about the release. It says 13th Doctor there, so I really bloody hope it's got the 13th Doctor in the box. Yes, this is a moment that has been long awaited, so I thought I would record it. Um, I will be doing an actual production, uh, a normal product review at some point with the usual white background and all of that. But I thought it would be nice to kind of capture my reaction to this release because it's not often that you get a rather expensive dolly through the post and then you can smile at it all excitedly. I thought it would be an exciting little video to upload. So yes, I'm currently snipping along the tape. It's been fastened in. Um, this figure has been delayed due to the current lorry problems as well and the shipping stuff going on around the world due to many different reasons. So yes, I'm very grateful for this figure to actually finally be here. Um, I've heard that the actual box is quite different to some of the previous releases. Of course, the actual shipment crate is a little bit smaller than some of the other uh, releases that we've had in the past. So there's a Final look at that, very nice indeed, nothing at the bottom, just more cardboard, exciting. And then we have the figure itself, which as you can see, with the little plastic things falling off all over the place, we have a very shiny box which is hidden underneath the bubble wrap. It's nicely and tightly wrapped within, and then we have the bubble wrap, which is rather ironic given that this is the 13th Doctor, and one of her episodes is of course Kablam. So here we have the figure itself, wow, um, the box is very snazzy. Very shiny. Mine has a dent, sadly, down the back, which is um, a little bit annoying, to be honest. And um, we have a little bit of a dent up there as well. I don't quite know how that will come out on camera, um, because it is very unusually sort of glossed. Uh, we have the TARDIS there in the background, Jodie as well. A little bit of information about her doctor uh, being charismatic and a confident explorer. Then, of course, we have more jargon along the side of the box as well. Uh, of course, the lovely Gallifrey text there and the TARDIS too at the very front, a rather faded TARDIS, of course, Doctor Who, Signature Edition Collector Series. I think that this is probably going to be the only issue that we'll ever get of Geordie, so it's quite nice that they've actually done something special for the box. Mine is unit, I think that's 401? 402? God knows. <laughs> 400 and something, at least, out of the series. I have a little bit of company information there at the very back. Let's slide the top off, of course, very much like the 8th Doctor. We do have a slightly different box layout this time round, um, which I don't quite know if I like, um, because I'm a stickler, I like the older releases. Um, on the inside of the box we get nothing, yay, yeah, hey. white, a little bit of a dent down there, um, but yeah, that's quite cool, we'll plonk that over there. Then we have on the inside another little TARDIS background that's much clearer actually uh, compared to the box one so that's probably picking up a little bit better on camera, that's cool. On the side we get the credits, all the talented people have worked on this release and then we have specifications there on the back as well. This Again, another thing that needs to be lifted off. Uh, once upon a time we just had a frame going around, uh, then you lifted it off, which is quite cool. But now we have a different design. This is coming off much better actually compared to that of the 8th Doctor. Um, oh, that's nice. We have the TARDIS console room there in the background, a lovely lighter blue. The TARDIS console there in the middle, 
cost of the jewel or the... It's a rather unusual TARDIS, to say the least. I don't know if I've completely grown to appreciate it as of yet, because it does seem to be very awkward to film in. Then we have the wonderful 13th Doctor herself in her plastic prison, uh, looking very exciting. I'm loving instantly the first thing that's jumping out here is that uh, lovely rainbow stripe jumper. We have a ting there at the bottom as well. No doubt if this is following the same format to all the previous releases that have ever happened, we will have a two tray format, yep. So we have the main one for the figure, the hands, and a few of the bigger accessories. We have, ooh, mine's one 405, there we go, that's more clearer. The signature from Jodie herself, which to be honest, I think that if Jodie was at a convention, her autograph will probably be around the region of 60 to probably 100, much like some of the other new series Doctors. So, you know, that's a bonus thing, uh, kind of adding to the value of the figure. Don't need to track down an autograph anytime soon, so that's good. Then we have another jumper in there, the sort of lighter or darker blue even, with a base, which has been ever so slightly edited this time, but we'll take a look at that a little bit later on, so move them out of the way. Um, we'll take a look at the rest of what we've got in here. Uh, pop off the plastic frame, see what we've got. I can always remember, and I know I've talked about this before, and I'm sure if you've collected the action figures you know about this, but the smell that normally comes up for any old action figures, I love it. It's a, it's a rather lovely childhood memory of getting new figures on weekends, and wow, it's the 13th Doctor with a bag on her head. Shall we let her free? There we go. Wow, Agnes is brilliant. I'm liking as well the hair is layered, which is quite cool. I'll be reserving my main thoughts for this head sculpt until the actual review. However, out of all of the things on this release, I think in particular we should have a little bit of a zoom in dedicated look at the head. Of course, this is the head that the fig comes packaged with, so you have that more neutral expression, that lovely glazed effect on the eyes, as well as a glossy effect on the mouth. In particular for this head, I really do love the way that the hair has been layered, as you can see at the side here. Here we have various different strands and that lovely sharp detailing on the earrings as well, including the chain coming around the side. I know that this had received a little bit of criticism for looking quite serious when initially released. However, I think overall it looks pretty decent. The figure has been on pre-order for so long, I've not actually looked at the photos of the figure online on the website for probably a good year. So yeah, it's nice to actually see the figure in hand and actually what I've purchased instantly. The costume actually sits really, really nicely. I'll move that out of the way for a second. Yeah, the costume actually sits really nicely. It flows very well. Um, it's got the lovely rainbow lining in there too, of course. Because it does have a rather baggy kind of feel within the series, it certainly looks like it flows quite a lot. We have the socks there at the bottom as well, which is really cool. They are... are they plastic? I can't quite tell. We have the hood as well, of course, which can go over the 13th Doctor's head, which there was a number of promotional stuff for in Series 11 on the inside. Her lovely pink-ish jumper, the big bulky braces. Her neck isn't as shiny as I thought it was, which is a sentence I didn't think I would be saying today. But on, I can recall, in fact, from a few years ago when they did release a few promotional images, and the neck did look very shiny and giraffe-like, so I'm happy to see. Her neck is still considerably long, although it's not as um, ridiculous as I thought it looked originally. Stand up. The big standing test. Please stand. I think Paul did a good job at standing last time, so don't let me down. Please don't let me down. There we go. You can stand there looking important. I will take a look at the rest of the things. So... She's not regenerated, so that's fine. Second time lucky, please don't fall again. So, uh, we've got another head, as you do. Uh, this one, I do believe, is the second one they're sculpted, actually. So this is the normal, sort of neutral head. Oh, no. She's smirking a bit, I think, on that one. Then this one is another design, which is... I never thought I would get Jodie Whittaker's head in a bag, but you know. There we go. So this one, oh yeah, this one is a sort of smirking head. It's kind of got a little twinkle in there, which I think is more of character. Um, 
<laughs> Never thought I would be doing this either. But... And again, something of which that is quite hard to see from the table, here is a closer look at the head. Of course, this is the more regular Geordie head. I think the head sculpt is much more like the promotional image that was first released for Doctor Who Series 11. So you have the hair in a slightly shorter manner, and again, that lovely effect on the face overall, looking very natural, and then the eyes being glazed ever so slightly. Really impressed with this overall, it looks great. There you go, there's Jodie Whittaker's head, another one. That can pop on and off, the hair is ever so slightly different. It most certainly looks like Jodie. Next up we have more things, what do we have? We have a little fez, of course originally one came of the 11th Doctor. I was really surprised actually that they didn't just go with the regular Matt Smith fez, however they've gone with a brand new sculpt and it even has a few little tassels of material coming down the side as well. Can plonk on her head, or not, or fall over. We've got the Pating, I'm not particularly a fan of the Saranga conundrum, although I must admit the Pating is pretty cool. It's One solid piece, however, has lots of lovely, really nice paint application. In particular, I love the way the eyes have been painted, that lovely glossy effect. Of course, this is one solid piece and therefore doesn't have any articulation, although it looks very cool on display. We have those little tendrils there on the back as well. So we've then got the infamous Psychic Paper. Oh hey, this one's a slightly thicker sculpt, there has been a few flexible ones in the past. We've got lots of hands, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six different open and shut. And of course, finally, we have the sonic screwdrivers. I think like or hit this design regardless, you can kind of appreciate the attention to detail on this. So we have the lovely Sheffield metal sections, as well as the rather transparent orange section there at the very top, almost looking like it's glowing. And then we have the other sonic as well, exactly the same sculpt, however, this time with a lighter, clear blue finish. That will look brilliant in her hand, of course, so she can be paused holding it. Or not. She can be paused, to be honest, her hand is actually in the open palm position, so it's rather difficult to put in. What I really love is the little nods within the costume, so we do have, of course, the rainbow going down the side, but equally you might just be able to tell slightly in the cuffs of the jacket of that lovely kind of lilac lining, which very much, again, like the actual costume, so that's very cool. Next up, we're going to go to the smaller tray. Of course, this contains the regular Doctor Who base, um, which has been tweaked this time, um, and I've heard good things about this, so I'm very much looking forward to seeing it. That looks quite nice. We normally have the Gallifreyan text, of course, if you're a regular Big Chief fan you will know that. This time we have a lighter grey, which has been used, not the reflective design, and the Doctor Who logo, and rumour has it, if you tweak this little button, I don't know if it doesn't even have batteries in, does it? Damn. Oh yeah, it does. There we go. It lights up orange. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on camera, but that does have a lovely orange glow, which again, I like. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I'm guessing this will be our only release that we will get of Jodie, especially given that she is uh, retiring from the role, of course, in 2022. Um, so I just don't think, I think they've probably sold enough of this one. And I don't think they'll do another. Maybe they will in a few years, who knows? That's now empty. But we do have the little sort of darker blue a jumper, I'd, I'd argue the more regular one, of course. They could, I suppose, do expansion packs of the different ones that we've not got. There we go, we'll plonk you on your base so you don't fall over again and get scared over a fez. Boom. Uh, I'm really, actually, really impressed. Um, I knew that this was going to be a good figure. I had a gut feeling, simply because the head sculpt seemed to be really impressive to start with. But also because the costume, um, thanks to the wonderful Ray Holman, who did of course design this and have lots of little references to uh, the suffragettes of the lilac and lots of other stuff, it is overall quite a basic costume. We don't have lots of layers, so as a result Big Chief will be able to do a very good job at it. And here we have that very good job. It is a very lovely costume. I love the way it sits on the body, it's very natural. And I also love the way that we've got the wiring in the coat as well, which I know some people aren't a fan of because the sit makes the coat sit unnaturally on the body. But to me, I think especially for the scale, um, a wired coat really does help, um, especially with longer coats uh, such as the 10th Doctor's trench coat. So I'm going to move around her hands. Uh, there we go, that's a sonic holding one. I'm also quite happy to see that the hands are flexible because we have had some releases in the past where they have been way too stiff and as a result have been very difficult to get in and out of the socket. So there we go, she's got a sonic screwdriver, little orange one there. And then what I'm going to put in this hand, in fact, should we have a look in what's in this bag? Because I'm aware 
There is more accessories. Um, there is a wonderful Kablam box, which is fun. Be happy though with it overall. I think that Big Chief do have a tendency of getting the women figures quite right when it comes to costume. I think because uh, there are so many smaller details, um, in particular for this costume, it's kind of lots of lovely details but basic at the same time. So, in this bag we get a number of things, some cool accessories, so first of which of course we've got the wonderful plaque. Sadly it doesn't have the base, um, you know the plastic thing, again if you've got big chiefs in the past you'll know exactly what I mean, the base where it kind of props it up. We don't have one of them, uh, it's not been sent for some reason, um, I do believe it's on the contents of the box, so I don't know if they're intending on fulfilling that at some point in the future, that would be quite nice. Uh, the Certificate of Authenticity, oh this is pretty, oh it's got the number in again, I like that, that's really cool. Um, it's got the number, then out of 500, and then a lovely image of Geordie. Uh, we've got a little thing about the, uh, what's it, uh, stand. Then we have more accessories, we have the Help Me card from Kablam, from the inside of the box, and it's even got Help Me written on the back. That is a phrase that I use on a daily basis, currently studying a master's, help me. And then we have the box itself, I do love Kablam as a story, so this has little sticky things at the bottom, so once you've folded it and you can make it up, you know, it can look like the actual box. Um, I'm probably not going to take away the sticky stuff as of yet, um, but I will fold it together to give you an impression of what a box looks like when it is folded. So there you go. It's open, and of course you can pop the fez inside. Well hey! And there you have your little Kablam box with the help me thing in it. So that's cool indeed. I like that. So there we have it. That is the 13th Doctor overall for this little unboxing. I'm very much looking forward to pausing this figure actually and taking a look at the different accessories and the different dynamic positions that the figure can of course sport. I think overall the figure sits very well. It's very sturdy, very stiff. It's not that flexible because some figures in the past have had that unusual floppiness when it comes to the articulation. Uh, this figure does seem pretty secure once it is on the base and once it has been displayed properly. And as for the accessories, of course this is a series 11 variation of the 13th Doctor, so it is very series 11 themed. Of course the inclusion of the little jumper as well, that will create a great display option. Once swapped over, I think that'll be pretty simple to swap as well, just a simple thing of moving the arms and sliding the other jumper off. It seems to be overall, as I say, a well structured figure, so that will be quite easy. And equally, I also love the addition of the second head as well. This is something that originally I wasn't quite expecting them to do. I thought they would have chose one over the other, because I I know that I think this sculpt received a little bit of criticism, uh, but to be honest, I think it looks decent. I think it's rather stern, it's that more serious slash neutral version of the 13th Doctor, and this one kind of has a little bit of a smirk in it, which I quite like. Again, it's nice to have something that kind of reflects the 13th Doctor's character, and both of the faces aren't too over the top. So yes, overall, I'm looking forward to reviewing this one. Um, I don't know how long it will take for me to review it, because normally I do like to take a while over reviewing Big Chiefs, because there's lots of different components. But yes, I thought it would be fun to record a little unboxing to kind of give my first reaction, but overall, really happy with this one at the minute, and I think the box as well in particular. Aside from the odd dent here and there, which I'm not particularly too happy about, um, in particular, on the back box here. Don't know if you'll be able to see it due to the material, but we do seem to have a little bit of a crease there going down the back, which I am not particularly happy with. It's the back of the box, and at least it's not damaged to the actual figure itself. But yeah, I do like the way they've kind of personalised it towards the 13th Doctor. It's very spacey and very exciting, which is kind of reflective of her character and personality, I think, to those who like her incarnation. But yes, overall, I'm happy. So yes, uh, stay tuned on the Horse Productions for a full product review of this big chief uh, in the future, hopefully in the next month or two. And of course, also stay tuned for unboxing of the third Doctor Big Chief, as well as a review of that as well. So yes, thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day, and I shall see you all next time. Bye for now.